Hey guys, how are we doing? So it's Crypto Insight UK here, bringing you back another YouTube video. Today we're just going to do a little bit of TA. Obviously the market's massively, massively red. I'm going to tell you what I think's going on and where I think we're going to find uh, support. Obviously, none of this is financial advice, guys. I'm just showing you my opinions um, and hopefully this will help you out a bit. I'm also just going to talk about a few projects I've got my eye on uh, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, basically that's it. So we'll start with Bitcoin on the daily. Um, we've had been waiting for this drop, as I said. Like The TA's been pretty hard because we've just been hiding hiding hitting our heads on this 50 day moving average on the daily uh, we've lost that today nice little drop so far do i think this dump's completed i don't know maybe i think there's a little bit more room to come if we look down on the rsi here on the daily i'm just going to show you what i can see on the rsi just going to show you there's some more space uh for a bit further to come down if we look for a horizontal ray and like see in the past that we have bounced from this level here we still do have uh, we're at 38 24 at the minute we still do have another three points on the relative strength index to come down which would go pretty well with the fact that people are saying that 53,000 ish is a support level um, I could say that 52,800 would be with this recent swing high here and if we also look on the logarithmic scale the reason why people are saying that is because um, it's trend line here let me just draw this in properly for you so you can see that this isn't one I prepared earlier I just want to show you some of that so this is in and around why people are saying that in and around 53,000 is where we could bounce um, do I think that's the case? Maybe. Maybe it's definitely potential here. Do I think we could come a bit further because of the space in the RSI and the recent swing high here? Yes. We've used this kind of area of support. In and around this area, I think, could be the bottom. But I also do think there's another argument here, guys. I wanted to be completely transparent with you. I think there's a, a secondary argument that we do come further down. I do. I think there's. I know people are saying that 53,000, if we lose that, it would be absolutely catastrophic. I actually disagree and think that if we come down to this 49,000 area where this trend line here on the non logarithmic scale doubles up with a 200 day, that could be a good area to bounce. As you can see in the past, we have used the 200 day as a place of support. Is this drop unhealthy? Who knows, to be completely honest? No one really knows. Um, we have printed a higher top for Bitcoin and then had a bit of a, a um, correction from there. But if we look at this top here and where we came down, where we had a 27% drop right there, uh, currently we're not anywhere near that, and that's 20 something percent, so 22% at the minute. So still another 5% that we could come down. That would work pretty well with the moving average there. I know this did spell uh, the capitulation event for the last, the last run, but I'm just showing you some areas where we've easily worked down this sort of same percentage, just 26% there, look. And 18% here. Just showing you guys some examples of where we've we've done this sort of move so far. This cycle, 30% to the low there, 31%. So it happens. It happens a lot. Could are we just continuing on forwards? Potentially, guys. No one really knows for sure until we get out of this zone. Obviously, there's been the, the announcement today about the the new C19 variant that's that's, that's more deadly, and the markets have reacted badly with that. Both re, the stock market and the um, crypto market as a whole. So let's have a look into Ethereum. Ethereum was really, really ripping, and then it, it was pushing. It's starting to push up again. It had broken its recent high, uh, but now it's had this obviously this dump, and it's found support around the four thousand dollar mark. It did wick below that to the three thousand nine hundred and seventeen dollars, which was held by this support here and this support here, um, and it seems to be reversing from this point. Do I think this is the bottom? I think it's a very difficult argument to to sell either way here. XRP's dropped out the bottom of this wedge, so that's not really a great sign, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I would like to see the daily close for XRP stay above this fifth, this 200 day, but I can't, I don't think that will happen. I think we could see a further depreciation in price, but to where is something that I'm not sure. We may be seeing down to 86 cent here. Um, we could even see lower towards this 77 cent here with this recent swing high. I also did think and look at the other day that we could retest that high here. This is just the same as a 79 cent level and this area here could be acting as support now. And we have wicked into that level and rejected it so far. Something else to take to take note of is that XRP is holding its strength quite well in relation to other altcoins. Um, like some things are dropping heavily and Bitcoin has only dropped 8.2%, which is normally the case. Bitcoin doesn't drop as far as other altcoins. Um, things I've got my eye on at the minute, obviously XRP, I would be scooping this up if I had cash. I actually currently don't have any cash. I'm not buying this dip right now because I have no cash. If we do get a further discount, I will maybe try and find some cash from somewhere, but like I literally skint. Obviously bought 
myself, I bought into RFOX yesterday. I sold my uh, Blocktopia profits and bought into RFOX. Could the bottom be in for RFOX? I've got two, an argument for that is on the four hourly. We did literally wick and touch the 50 day moving average and reject that quite heavily. So this long wick below means there's been a lot of buying pressure as well as hitting the 50 on the uh, RSI. The same thing for Blocktopia. It did wick down, hit that 50 day moving average and that seems to be really recovering from there too. So is that going to be a good trade? Who knows? I only mean, know one thing is that um, they're open, they're, they're closed, sorry, their open beta comes out on the 30th of November, which is four days time. So I think that we could have a rally into that. Uh, that was the reason I, the main reason I sold my Blocktopia into RFOX. And I think the chart looks pretty good. Um, let me show you why. If we can break above this resistance level here, uh, 31 cent. This could be performing a couple of handle, boom. A little rejection down to there, boom, and out we go. And if that is the case, it's a lovely little upwards move of... Uh, it's not going to be completely accurate, guys. I'm just going to give you an example. Um, of like towards 58 cents so we're looking at nearly 100 percent move so that's just where that's where my eyes are guys at the minute to be completely honest with you we've seen things like sand absolutely rip on the launch of their product when their project has launched let's put on the daily i'll show you where that launch is it launched like two three days ago so on the day of launch i think we came up like over 100 percent on the day of launch so why wouldn't our fuck fields do the same thing when they've got their beta launching soon other projects to keep your eyes on, guys. Wilder Worlds. Um, they're doing a lot of stuff at the minute. A uh, guy that I'm working with, one of my close friends, has written a report about it. We're going to discuss this report on Saturday, and I may release it to some people in my Patreon group. Um, I can get back to that at another time. When when I've got the information about it, we're going to have a deep deep dive into his report. Uh, he's really excited to show me that, so that would be cool. Um, also looking at the exchange token, uh, KCS, which is Qcoin's exchange token, and the FTT exchange token. FTT have had a massive fundraiser recently. Uh, that's the FTX exchange. So you, I think they're all um, all decent crypto exchanges, and their exchange tokens will have a run up in value as more people start to come into the crypto market. It just makes sense to me. Uh, as long as their exchange is decent, I think Qcoin is decent. I think FTX are really pushing with for the public market. So just a bit like Crypto.com are doing. We've seen a massive rally in like BNB and Crypto.com's tokens this year. So I think that other exchanges will follow suit at some point. Finally, we've got Rune token, uh, which is which is uh, Thorchain, and this is launching its main net uh, around Christmas time. So could be a good day to be buying into a project like this. So there are the things to keep your eye on at the minute, guys. Um, the DXY is also coming down in value today. It, it, it's, it's also rejecting the top of it today. Um, again, I think this is off the back of the C19 news. There's not too much I can really help you with today, guys. We're all looking at buy orders. In my opinion, it's great prices to be getting exposed to the market if you want extra exposure. But again, do it at your own risk. Could we have a further drop? I've explained my thinking on that. I think potentially yes. XRP on the daily is very close to the bottom of its RSI. And if we look on the four hourly, we are in the over oversold zone or we're just bouncing out of it. But we haven't really had a big green candle. Normally, I'd like to see if we hit a bottom with a nice green rejection candle like, like here, boom, and then we get the strength to come out. I know here we didn't really, but we had a nice rejection um, and then we we consolidated and then pushed out. So I would like to see a nice big green candle to confirm a bottom. But let's see what happen happens, guys. The thing with crypto is you can find a nice support level. Let's say the, 50, the 54,000, 53,000 I showed you on, on the logarithmic where we literally are touching the... Um, the support, what, what Bitcoin actually does like to do, and this is one of the reasons why I said everyone's been like, oh, 53,000, we can't lose 53,000. One of the things that Bitcoin and crypto likes to do itself is find that level that we can't lose, like in inverted commas, and then push a bit further below it to liquidate any stop losses that people have in and around a leverage trade for those, um, those sorts of prices. So that's my opinion on everything like that, guys. I hope this video helps you out, and I'm, I'm sorry I've not been that active with my YouTube videos, my TA. I'm going to create a YouTube video on some Metaverse tokens, as I've, as I've talked about a little bit there um, in the next coming days. And I also have a sick NFT project coming out. I'm going to be launching my own NFT range. It's not just going to be artwork. It's actually going to have utility. And I'm really trying to uh, hone in and focus on that utility. I need, I need a developer to help me write some smart contracts because I've got some really good ideas about how, as a community, we can create some uh, revenue from these NFTs and 
really look to push forwards together uh, going going forwards, obviously. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening to this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please drop me a subscribe and a like. Hit a comment if you if you have the time. Uh, if you've got any questions for me, please leave them in the, in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you. Um, as I said, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Peace up, A-Town Down, and I'll see you on the next one.